This is the Christian Training Center in Mapodo, Gogodala LLG. It was initially known as the Gogodala Bible School. Now it is English Bible School. This rundown facility still provides the avenue for students to come in and learn on a daily basis. The establishment of the school is dated back in 1962 by the Evangelical Church. The classrooms are very old and not quite the learning environment for students. This is the library. Due to the building infrastructure, the administration could not put more bookshelves in fear of the books collapsing and causing accidents to the students. The school principal, Fifias Fitim, says each of the divisions of the school is not a better working environment for them. She says as the principal, it is a major challenge. Working in such place, in the condemned building, it's a challenge. And there is also a risk, like risk of staff and students. For example, during um, wet season, we suspend classes. We don't have classes. We are afraid of this building might collapse at any time and destroy any life at any time. Therefore, we held accountable if that such case happens. Having dealt with that over the years, finally, the Delta Fly District Development Authority has stepped in to bring bigger development for the school with promising signs ahead. District Administrator Tony Siba has announced the development plans. Technical guys at the service from Saras Limited will be helping us to the whole area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, while we're able to start off with a school block, the classroom block, and then the future will be extended to the dormitories and staff houses and all mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. it's important that we get the whole boundary mm -hmm. for the public schools. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the school, Principal Fitim has acknowledged Delta Fly DDA. Uh, I, as a principal, will take this time to appreciate the team who are here with us for such development, especially viewing the side, feasibility studies and all this. So we thank you.